Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on binomial theorem. Binomial theorem is one of the most important theorem in mathematics. A binomial theorem describes the algebraic expansion of powers of a binomial with two variables. Okay, here x plus y whole power n here how many number of variables are there there are two variables are there so these two for these two variables we have to find out the algebraic expansion or expansion of powers of a binomial with how many number of variables two variables are there so x plus y whole power n is equal to n c 0 into x power n by power 0 plus n c 1 into x power n minus 1 by power 1 plus n c 2 into x power n minus 2 into y power 2 up to n c n minus 1 x power 1 by power n minus 1 plus last term n c n into x power 0 into y power n. The last term contains y power n. The first term contains x power n. Okay. So by solving this, by solving this expansion, finally we are getting x plus y whole power n is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity ncr into x power n minus r into y power r. Okay. This is the binomial theorem containing two variables expansion. Okay. Suppose 1 plus x whole power n. So what is the expansion? Okay. So that is nc0 into 1 power n into x power 0. nc1 into 1 power n minus 1 into x power 1. nc2 into 1 power n minus 2 into x power 2 plus nc3 into 1, 1 power n minus 3 into x power 3 etc. So now 1 power anything is nothing but 1. So nc0 into 1 power 1 is 1. 1 into x power 0 that is nothing but x power 0 plus nc1 into this is 1. This is x power 1. So 1 into x power 1 is nothing but x power 1 nc2 into 1 power n minus 2 is nothing but 1. 1 into x square is x square plus nc3 into 1 power n minus 3 into x power 3. So 1 into x power 3 is x power 3. nc3 into x power 3. Next. So nc0 value is 1. So x power 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 plus nc1. So, what is NCR formula? N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So, here NCR is equal to N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. Okay. So, this is the formula. NCR formula. Okay. According to this, so 1 into x power 0 is 1 plus n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial because the denominator contains n minus 1 factorial. To cancel this n minus 1 factorial, n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. Okay, divided by n minus 1 factorial into x. Here n minus 1 factorial, n minus 1 factorial cancel. Then we are getting nx. n into x is nx plus n factorial by n minus 2 factorial. So this can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial because the denominator contains n minus 2 factorial. To cancel the n minus 2 factorial, we have n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. So, divided by n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial cancel, then the remaining is n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square. Next, third one, 
10 factorial by n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So, to cancel the denominator term n minus 3 factorial, n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial. So, n minus 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial cancel. The remaining term n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial into x cube. So, finally, we are getting this one. 1 plus x whole power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial into x cubed. Okay, this is the term. Suppose 1 minus x whole power n, let the 1 plus x whole power minus n is there. So, alternative terms are minus, we are getting because the power contains minus value. So, then uh, alternative terms are negative. Okay. So, this is the description about the binomial theorem. So, binomial theorem contains two variables. So, either x plus y whole power n or a 1 plus x whole power n. Okay. So, on this uh, binomial theorem, we have to solve some problems. Okay. So, find out the coefficient of x power 9 into y power 3 in the expansion of x plus 2y whole power 12. Okay. Solution. We know that we know that binomial theorem x plus y whole power n is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity n c r into x power n minus r into y power r. Okay. So, according to that, according to the Binomial theorem Binomial theorem So, x is equal to x comma y is equal to 2y comma n is equal to 12 Okay, comparing this one is compared with this one So, we are getting x is equal to x y is equal to 2y, n is equal to 12. Okay. So, therefore, according to that, x plus 2y whole power 12 is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity 10cr, 12cr into x power n value 12 minus r into y, y value is 2y whole power r. Okay. Then, sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity 12cr into x power 12 minus r into, so this can be written as 2 power r into y power r. Okay. So, then, Sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity 12 c r x power 12 c r into 2 power r into x power 12 minus r into y power r. Okay. So, we have to find out we have to find out x power 9 into y power 3. Okay. So, now x term and y term are compared with this one. So, we know that x power 9 is equal to x power 12 minus r comma. So, 
bases are same then powers are equated 9 is equal to 12 minus r so therefore r is equal to 12 minus 9 so that is equal to 3 okay next one second one y power r so y power r is equal to y power 3 here y power r is there we have to find out y power 3 x power 9 into y power 3 so x term is equated with x term y term is equated with y term so x term x power 12 minus r is equal to x power 9 so y power 3 is equal to y power r so according to that so r value is equal to 3 so now this is equation 1 okay so r value substituted in equation 1 in equation 1 so therefore 12 c 9 into 2 power 9 into x power 12 minus 3 into y power 3 okay so then 12 c 9 into 2 power 9 into x power 9 into y power 3 so we have to find out x power 9 into y power 3 so the coefficient is this one so therefore 12 c 9 can be written as 12 c 3 into 2 power 9 so that is 12 into 11 into 10 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 okay into 2 power 9 so 2 6 3 2 so 2 into 10 20 20 into 11 220 into 2 power 9 sorry 2 power r 2 power r is 3 sorry 2 power r is 3 2 power r is 3 so 2 power r is 3 so therefore 220 into 8 is equal to 80082 16 that is 760 so therefore this is the answer therefore the coefficient of x power 9 into y power 3 in x plus 2y whole power 12 is 1760 so, in this way, we have to solve binomial theorem problem. Now, we go for second problem. Find out the coefficient of x power 5 into y power 2 in the expansion of 2x minus 3 by whole power 7. Okay. So, we know that the binomial theorem is x plus y whole power n is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity ncr into x power n minus r into y power r so according to the above binomial theorem so x value is equal to 2x and y value is equal to minus 3y and n is equal to 7 okay so substituting these values substituting these values in the above equation in the above equation okay so according to that x value 2x 2x minus 3y whole power 7 is equal to sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity ncr n value 7 so 7 c r 
into x power x value how much 2x 2x whole power n minus r n value 7 7 minus r y power r y value is minus 3 by whole power r okay so then sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity 7 c r into so this can be divide this can be separated x by uh, this can be separated into two terms 2 power 7 minus r into x power 7 minus r okay again this term can be separated minus 3 power r into y power r okay now constant terms can be separated one side and x and y terms can be separated and the side sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity 7 c r into 2 power 7 minus r into minus 3 power r into x power 7 minus r into y power r okay so now this is equation 1 okay we have to find out the we have to find out the coefficient of coefficient of x power 5 and y power 2 okay so these x power term and y power term are compared with the equation 1 so therefore x power 7 minus r is equal to x power 5 so bases are equal then powers are equal 7 minus r is equal to 5 so r is equal to 7 minus 5 that is equal to 2 okay in the same way y power r is equal to y power 2 okay y powers are equated with y power 2 so therefore r is equal to 2 now r value substituted substituted in equation 1 in equation 1 r value is substituted in equation 1 so then 7 c r value is 2 into 2 power 7 minus 2 into minus 3 power 2 into x power 7 minus 2 into y power 2 okay so that is equal to 7c2 into 2 power 5 into minus 3 power 2 is nothing but 9. So, this is x power 5 into y power 2. So, we are getting x power 5 into y power 2. So, this is the coefficient term. Okay. So, then 7c2. 7 into 6 divided by 1 into 2 into 2 power 5 is 32. 32 into 9 into x power 5 into y power 2. So that is equal to 2 3s. So 21 into 32 into 9 into x power 5 into y power 2. So that is equal to 9 twos, 18, 9 threes, 27, 28. 22 88 into 21 into x power 5 into y power 2. So, that is equal to so 6048 into x power 5 into y power 2. So, therefore the coefficient of x power 5 into y power 2 in 2x minus 3 by whole power 7 is 6048. Okay. 
So in this way, we have to solve the given problem. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So Dibbela Srinivasrao. Dibbela Srinivasrao. Thank you.